What's up YouTube? It is your boy JB here with another review. This is Pose Season 3, Episode 5. We only got two more episodes, you guys. And it's over. I cannot believe that next week is one episode is two episodes left. Episode six and seven. This episode was titled Something Borrowed and Something Blue. <laughs> Something was borrowed, alright. Not in the way you would think it was borrowed, but it was borrowed. All right, you guys, so without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into this episode review. Now, before we do that, if you guys are watching this video or any other other videos on my channel and you're not subscribed to this channel, what are we doing? Why are we going out on a date? Why are you taking me on a date and not paying for the, the meal? So do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell button so you guys are aware of when I drop any else. And also hit that like button and share this video. So with that being said, you guys, let's go ahead and get into this episode review shout. All right, you guys, so this episode, we are dealing with Electra. Now we're finally getting some answers to the questions that I have been having about Electra for the last few weeks. Cause I was, you know, we all know that in the first episode, the premiere episode, Electra, was it the premiere episode? One episode, Electra has, you know, this phone um, sex hotline that she has. And it was in this big building and she had a lot of employees. I'm like, where did she get the money from? So we're finding out everything. She was out shopping for a new place. You know, she's going on shopping spree. She's eating caviar. So this all came about because she had a meeting with Ms. Orlando and Ms. Orlando informed Electra that she was working with the mafia. So uh, she set up a meeting with Electra to work with the mafia. So what the mafia, what they're doing is they were, you know, laundering their money. They were laundering their drug money, so they had the shell corporation, the shell businesses, so that they could cook their books to make it look like, hey, this is all legit money. So they were washing the money. You know, the way that Electra was spending in this episode, Electra should be very weird. You know, she should be, I mean, but it's Electra that we're talking about, but the way that Electra was spending, I'm like, girl, that is going to come back and catch up to you. Because how did you go from working at the Hellfire? Now, yes, you said you started up your own business, but how did it go from, you know, maybe five or six employees to this big booming business? Okay. But yeah, that's what it is. So we see Angel. So Angel is at home with Poppy, and she is, you know, in the planning processes of their wedding. She's telling Poppy that she wants to have a winter wedding. And, you know, he tells her whatever she wants, that's what she should have. But, you guys, they still, they have some savings, but I don't know if it will be enough to have the wedding that Angel wants. Because then he suggests, how about it just be us and the people that we care about? Why don't we go down to City Hall and get married? And Angel's like, you know, as long as I'm marrying you, we're fine. So, that's it. They're going to go down to City Hall and get married on New Year's Eve. And it's going to be them and the family. So let's move on, you guys. All right, you guys. So, um, so, sorry, somebody just left a comment on one of my videos. But, um, Electra, like I was saying, Electra is doing a lot of spending. I wouldn't, you know, that's like, that's like people who been getting these PPP loans. Y'all spending all this money that y'all ordinarily wouldn't have. Like, I don't know why we, as black people, I don't know why we do this. We always talk about generational wealth, but when we come into money, nine times out of 10, we don't do anything with it. We buy things that depreciate in value instead of things that appreciate. We don't buy property. We don't buy, that's the main thing. We don't buy land and we don't buy property. We go out and buy, some of us, not everybody, most people go out and buy the most expensive clothes, the jewelry, the cars, all of that stuff depreciates in value. Now, I know certain things can appreciate. Like I know if I know certain purses that you can buy, those can appreciate, but I wouldn't even do that. Buy something that, you know, buy something that will gain, bring you more money in instead of you losing money. Bring money in instead of losing. So buy retail, buy real estate property, 
buy land, buy that stuff. Don't buy stupid shit. And I'm not saying that you shouldn't. I'm not saying, I'm not saying don't buy it, period. I'm just saying don't buy it in excess. You know what I'm saying? But Alexa was upgrading Blanca's apartment and Blanca looks a little bit down and she's like, um, I cannot afford this. And Alexa was like, don't worry about it. Mother will take care of it. So then they they sit down and they have dinner and I mean, the food did look good. I'm gonna give I'm gonna give Electra that. Electra has taste. So you know, Angel and Lou like, uh, mother, what do we get? And then Lou exactly said, what do I get? <laughs> Electra says, you get a trip to rehab. I'm like, exactly. You need a bitch. A trip to rehab is what you need. And she's trying to talk about she doesn't need it. I'm like, girl, a lot don't care who tell it. You need rehab. She's talking about, you know, she got a new boyfriend by the name of Jerome. They like Jerome from the strip, the bouncer from the strip club. Girl, that crack pipe must have been worse than what we thought. That was Electra's word. That's what Electra said. And, you know, she was talking about she was self-medicating because of her loss of candy, which I get it. She lost candy. Candy was her, her rock, her ride or die. I get that. But to turn to a crack pipe? Uh-uh. Nope. You need rehab. So then, you know, Electra asked Angel, what can mother do for you? And, you know, Angel's like, I have everything that I need. And she says, but I do need to tell you guys something. She says, so Poppy and I have set a wedding date. And they were like, what's the wedding date? And she's like, you know, y'all know that I always wanted to have a winter wedding. So we're going to get married on New Year's Eve at City Hall. And Electra was like, oh, hell to the no, you will not. You are going to have, you know, the wedding of your dreams with your dress of your choice. And she's going to pay for it. That would have been all you had to say to me. I'm paying for it. You could have said, you could have said, whatever you want, money is no cost. I'm like, hey, you got a deal. So then Angel goes home to tell Poppy that they will have, you know, the wedding of their dreams because Electra is paying for it. Now, Poppy feels some type of way. He was like, but I thought we agreed to have, you know, our small intimate wedding with just the people that we love. And he's like, how do you think that that makes me look like I'm your man and I can't take care of you. I can't provide for you. She's like, Poppy, don't worry about that. Everybody knows you're my man and everybody knows that you can take care of you can, you know, you will take care of me, but you're not rich. Hell, neither one of us are rich. But Poppy doesn't want to do it. Angel wants to do it. Let's move on. All right, you guys. So Poppy, he went down to go off on a lecture, basically, about this whole wedding situation. And Electra and um, Blanca are there. And Blanca is playing devil's advocate because she can see where Poppy's coming from. But she also sees where Electra's coming from. And Electra tells Poppy, don't be selfish. And they explained it to him why this is a big deal. You know, it's a big deal because them as trans women, the only way that they really are able to wear a ball gown, not ball gown, but wedding dresses and walk down an aisle is at the balls. So this is the first time that they can actually see one of their own get dolled up, walk down her, the aisle to meet her prince. So at that point, you know, Pop is like, okay, I get where y'all are coming from. So it's not a big, it's, it's okay. You know, you can do it for us. And he thanks Electra. So then we see them and they go, we see Electra, we see Blanca, we see Angel and Lulu. They all go wedding dress shopping. And the first wedding dress that Angel had on, I was not necessarily feeling that wedding dress. One from, you know, I didn't like it. Um, the second one, a no. The third one, I did like. I liked the third one. And the fourth one, that one was a hell no to me. And then the fifth, that the last one she came out, and I'm like, okay, that dress looks nice. And then, you know, she was suggesting that Blanca try on a dress, and Blanca's like, oh, no. And Alex was like, oh, no. No, 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 no. We're all going to try on dresses. And that's exactly what they did, and they came out, and they all looked amazing in their dresses. I mean, they look so good. So then the guy that was, you know, with them trying on the dresses, he said, you know, the owner would like to meet you, guys, meet you ladies. So he goes and gets the owner and the owner comes out and the owner is another transphobic person. He's like, you got, you're, you're not real women. 
in and Blanc was like, you know, um, you know, they design these for women, and Blanc was like, we are women. He says, no, real women. I was like, oh, you fucked up, buddy. You about to get red in five, four, three, two, one, go Electra. And lo and behold, I mean, Electra read him for filth. She read him all the way down. Like, I thought she read that white woman bad last season. She came at him harder than she came at that. I mean, she came at him hard. I was like, damn, dude, pick your face up because she crushed you. Like, crushed you hard. So then let's move over to Poppy. So Poppy is at work and a girl from his past name, Amanda, comes down to see him. So Poppy dated her sister, Marisol. And he's asking her, how is she? And so I'm assuming that Marisol and um, Jimena were on drugs. Jimena was able to get herself clean, but Marisol was not able to get herself clean and she passed away. So he was like, oh, I'm so sorry about that. She says, but that's not all I came to tell you. She also left something behind and it's yours. He was like, what? She says, a five-year-old son. So Poppy says, you know, can I meet him? So she says, yeah. She, he asked her, where's he staying? She says, he's staying with me. He didn't have anywhere else to go. So, she, you know, Jimena and Poppy go meet. His name is um, Beto. And um, Beto is so, he's so, he's such a little cutie. And then when Poppy was talking to him, he was like, what are you doing? He was like, I'm building a house for mommy in heaven. And he says, you know, mommy told me not to talk to strangers. And Poppy was like, well, I'm not a stranger. He says, my name is Esteban as well but you can call me Poppy if you would like. And, you know, Poppy started crying and, you know, Beto, he hugged him. I was like, oh, that was so, so, so cute and sweet. Oh, that was so cute. Just made, made me want to have a child. No, it didn't. I'm lying. But it was a cute scene. Um, but let's move on. So, Electra. In one scene, they were having dinner and she has a guy there. His name is Hot Chocolate. She's calling him. So she's in her room and she's doing her makeup and everything and hot chocolate. She told him, hey, you, you're getting crumbs in my bed. It's time for you to get your shit and hit the road, Jack. He's like, but I'm falling in love with you. She's like, I don't care. Get out. So then we see a lecture. So she's talking to the members of the mob and she's telling them about her experience at the bridal, you know, the bridal store. And she wants them to go and get those dresses for her. Like, she wants them. And whatever Electra wants, she's going to get it. She's going to make a way to get it. So then we see the ladies. So the ladies are out at a spa. So Electra has bought the spa out for them for the day. And then, you know, we see them. They, do, you know, getting their nails done. They get massages. They doing, you know, the mud baths. I would, you know, I don't know if I would ever do a mud bath. I've always wondered if I would do a mud bath. I don't think I would. So then after that, they go to have a fancy dinner with some of their girlfriends. I was looking at those women. I'm like, wow. I would never get it. Like, I wouldn't, you know, if, if I wouldn't be able to clock those women. Like, they look like cis women. And that's not, I was like, wow. They, they're all, be they were all beautiful. Every last one of those um, beautiful women. Um, so then Electra invites all the ladies to angel and poppy's wedding and she was like you know you can have a wedding dress of your choosing she so she was doing an oprah you get a wedding dress you get a wedding dress you get a wedding dress and you get a wedding dress everyone gets a wedding dress so um that happens and then the end of the night they're gonna have strippers yep that's right they had strippers so they had a little bit of a bachelorette party it looked like they had a, a damn good time so then Angel, she goes home and Poppy is waiting for her to get home so that he could talk to her. So he tells her about Beto and he wants to bring, you know, Beto in with them. And Angel, I'm going to be honest, Angel actually pissed me off a little bit with this because I feel like Angel was being a little bit selfish. Now, she did say, you know, how do you know, how do you know she's not lying? He said, she's not lying. He's my son. Now, I get Angel saying that, you know, she's at this point, she's still dealing with her sobriety. I get that. I'm not going to take that away from Angel that she's still working on sobriety. I do get that. 
But Poppy has stood by you so many times, Angel. Like Poppy has stood by you in your time of need. But now when he needs you, you're not like you don't want to be there. Like you walk out. I just was a little upset with Angel with that one. I'm going to keep it real with you guys. Was upset with Angel about that. But um, that's the episode, you guys. Let me know what you guys thought about it. Leave your comments in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell button so you guys are aware of when I drop videos. And share this video until the next one, you guys. Stay safe. Take care of yourselves. Wash your hands. Wear your mask or not. Just stay safe, you guys. Please, 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 please be safe. And be blessed, you guys. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.